Hello! In this video, we'll go over how the customer dashboard works, including how customers can rate services, reschedule, cancel, and more. Whenever an admin or customer schedules a service, a customer account will be created for them automatically. Customers can also be sent a welcome email to invite them to start using the account with your business. If someone is interested in your services, but has not yet booked a service, they can visit the login and sign up page to create an account for themselves. Existing customers will enter their email address and then their password into the sign in page and then click the sign in button to open their dashboard. If they do not have an account, they can click the new sign up button at the bottom of the page. Customers can also sign up or log in using an existing Facebook or Google profile. If a customer ends up choosing one of these options, they will need to continue using this option to sign in and access their dashboard. Once a customer logs in, they'll be brought to the main page of their dashboard. The main dashboard includes three different tabs, one for upcoming appointments, another for previous appointments, and then one for canceled appointments. Customers can also click the Add New Booking button to open up the booking form. If your business has multiple industries, the client can click the industry they'd like to see pricing for. It is important to note that the ability to schedule new services, cancel services, or reschedule services depend on if the admin has enabled these settings or not under the Store Options section. If the customer wishes to return to their dashboard, they can do this at any time by clicking on their name in the top side corner and then selecting Dashboard. The main dashboard has several different buttons, one of which is the ability to edit their personal details. Here they can upload a profile image, make changes to their name, email address, or phone number. They can also add additional contacts here. If the customer would like to change their password, they can click the Change Password button located on the main dashboard. There is also an option that brings them to their general info and billing section. Here, the customer can add multiple addresses, add a new form of payment on file, and view invoices for previously scheduled jobs. All of these sections can also be accessed using the main dashboard menu. Customers may also have a My Drive section if the admin has enabled it. This allows the customer to view files uploaded to share with them or even upload their own files to share with you. If the customer wants to manage the notification settings, they can use the main menu to go to the notifications section. Here, they can use the various toggle buttons to enable or disable each type of notification they may receive. These notifications include emails and SMS. If the customer is no longer interested in doing business with your company, they can always request to deactivate their account by going to the Deactivate Account option. If the customer would like to learn more about your business, they can also visit the Facts and Support page. Next, we'll go through several different actions that customers can perform using their dashboard. If the customer has had any previous appointments, they may want to go and visit that booking again to do several different things. One of the options is to provide a rating and leave feedback on the service. Customers also may be interested in adding a tip. If customers click the Book Again button, this will duplicate the past booking and open up the Booking Details page so they can select a new date and time. And there is always the option to view the job's details. The Job Details page also allows them to use the Download Invoice button to view, print, or download the invoice. Customers may also want to view their canceled appointments. Here, customers can resume a canceled appointment by clicking the Resume button. If the admin settings allow it, 
Customers can make modifications to the pass booking before selecting a new date and time. At the bottom of the form, they can apply any coupon codes that they've received and then select what type of payment they will be making. The payment options they have to select from will differ from business to business. For example, some businesses may not allow customers to use cash or check to pay for their service. Once the customer is finished making their selections, they can click the green resume button to reschedule the appointment. If they go back to their main dashboard, they will now see the new booking or bookings under the appointment section. From here, customers can use the edit and reschedule button to make changes to the booking, such as changing the date and time or adding new services. If you allow customers to cancel bookings on their own, there'll also be a cancel booking button. If you have enabled a header or footer for the form, customers will also have access to any pages you've linked at the top or bottom of the page. If your business uses a referral system, the Earn Credits page will allow the customer to invite their friends and family to use your service. Invites can be sent out via email, SMS, or by sharing a link. In the section below, they can view a list of any referrals they've sent out as well as the credits they've earned. If your business sells gift cards, customers will also have access to the gift cards page. Here, they can send gift cards by using the send gift card button in the top right corner of the page. Customers can also use this section to view any gift cards they've received, as well as check the balance of each card. Sections like the gift card page or Earn Credits page can also be disabled if your business doesn't use these. You are able to customize and cultivate the exact type of experience you'd like your customers to have while using their dashboard. Once a customer is ready to log out, they can click on the top right menu and then select the logout option. You can visit the Booking Koala Help Center to learn more about how to customize and change how customers will see their dashboard. Thank you so much for watching.